nature with varying effects. And they have their own uh, saints days and feast days and uh, theology. Like Saint Jane Goodall Day. Well, mm -hmm. more, more to the point. Uh, well, she's to the point, yes. They have, they have um, Saint Al Gore. And they have Saint Ewell Gibbons. They have Saint Ewell Gibbons. I'm very fond of him. They have uh, Saint Farley Mowat of, <laughs> of of wolves, and uh, then they have other feast days consecrated to different phyla and kingdoms in the natural world. Well, there's a whole segment about bees. We you write a lot about bees, but they're also you're introducing us to. Thinkers on bees, scientists who yes, talk about bees. Yes, we put in some bees. Bee, yes, there's some bee saints, real ones that are the patron saints of bees. They come from Russia, uh, and then there are thinkers on bees who also get elevated to sainthood. So uh, people are now urging me to do the full calendar of saints, and I think I'm going to need some help with that. But uh, they, they do all have their hymns. So there's 14 hymns in the book. I wrote them to standard hymn tunes, but then. My partners, uh, my agent's partner, started channeling Adam One, he being a composer from a Lutheran background, and he did all of the hymns. So they're in the audiobook. Really? <laughs> You're welcome to sing any of them at your church service if you are so. <laughs> they're free. I've had people do that, actually. There is so much invented language in the book or invented creatures and companies and practices. Maybe we could run through a few of them. Just you, you could, but let me point out to you what drives this process. What's that? You can't call something in your book by the same trademark name as a real thing. Or you may find yourself in the middle of an unpleasant lawsuit. Okay. Example, there's a, a website uh, in the future which is a, a real-time assisted, assisted suicide uh, website in which you get to plan out your whole suicide and have a worldwide audience while you do it. But plan the music, you know, the decor, the, sort of like a wedding, only a bit backwards. And uh, it's very popular and people are booked, booked up for months. And it's called Nighty Night. So, so I had to research all these names, and there was a real Nighty Night company. It makes children sleepwear. So, you can see the kind of problem that you run into. So I had to change the spelling of my Nighty Night, which is why a lot of the spellings of these companies, like Anuyu, uh, why they're spelled those ways. It's because they're real ones spelt the other way. And I'm now getting a lot of people telling me that there are real things called scales and tails. <laughs> scales and tails in the books is an upmarket nightclub and sex joint in which um, people dress up as, I mean, the women dress up as flowers and birds and, and reptiles. And there are, I've now, I've now got three of them. They're, they're all pet stores. <laughs> So they, they haven't made the jump, but wait, <laughs> but wait for it. <laughs> but, but they, they please, do not dress yeah. up as turtles. You're, you're safe with turtles. <laughs> but please tell me that there is no real business called heads off real time executions. Um, <laughs> that there are no mixed martial arts felony fights. There are no prostabots. Wrong. Wrong? Yeah, wrong. There are prostitutes. All of these things exist in some form. Okay. Sorry about that, but they do. Okay, what about it feel it enabled porno haptic wank sites? <laughs> Coming your way soon. Okay. If you want to look on um, prostibots, put it into your search engine, you'll see that the Dutch are quite advanced with this already. Uh, these these prostitutes don't walk around, but they but they talk. They have limited vocabulary. So so do you find these ideas by your research, or do you invent them and then discover? That I they am a like? magnet for these ideas. <laughs> Hands up, Twitter fans. <laughs> okay, all over the world. 
of Twitter followers send me weird things that they think will interest me. So no sooner had that um, lab-grown hamburger been devoured yes. than I knew about it instantaneously. So glow-in-the-dark trees already here. Right. Glow-in-the-dark rabbits here. Um, was on the cover of Time magazine. Here, but glow in the dark a, bit, a bit rudimentary, but yep. um, <laughs> but they're here. The haptic feedback is already employed in remote surgery. It's just a hop, skip, and a, never mind. <laughs> not suggesting anything here. Had you thought of including a glossary in the books just to help us to remember what a wool fog really is? I could do that, yeah. but I would in that case uh, put the glossary not in the books, but I would put it on the Flipboard site. Oh yes. You're giving me a quizzical look. <laughs> uh, I know Flipboard, but you, okay. flipboard, you want Flipboard? We did a whole Mad Adam flipboard with the science background to a lot of these things. 